Welcome to your Tutor Online. My name is Joel and I'm going to show you how to solve combined inequalities. This is a quick version of the longer video which you can follow uh, by clicking the link here. This is a combined inequality. It has more than one in equal sign. First thing we're going to do is get that x all by itself. I see a negative one so I'm going to add one to every single piece there. And now the 2 is multiplied with x so I'm going to divide every single piece by 2. So I get 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 8. That is the simplification and that is solved. Uh, normally we're going to be asked to uh, put that solution on a number line. So we go ahead and draw a number line here. We want to make sure we go at least from 3. So I'm going to start at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to at least 8. Whenever we have just a less than sign, and that can be either less than or greater than, in this case it's less than, it's going to be a um, it's going to be a hollow dot at the number, an open dot, and if it has an equal sign in it, this is less than or equal to, it's going to have a solid dot at that number. Because this is all one line all together, um, three is less than x, and also x is less than uh, or equal to eight, then I'm going to connect both of those dots with a shaded line to show that every single number in between those two numbers works. All right, That was just really quick explanation for how to solve combined inequalities. If you need a little more time and a little bit more thorough of an explanation, click on this link for my 10 minute long lesson on the same topic, which also includes one other example. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, please leave comments with questions, uh, send me an email, uh, or um, just share this with your friends and uh, classmates and teachers if you found this helpful. Thanks. Happy studying.